Yahweh, God and Creator, we offer thanksgiving, praise, and worship as we submit ourselves now into this time of seeking, blessing, restoration, renewal within your presence. God and Creator, Sanctifier and Redeemer, we enter unto you through your blessed and holy name, Yahweh, Yeshua, Abum. And throughout this week, there's been a number of things that have risen and this question kept rising into me that was, how deeply have we severed our connection to God and become, quote, self-centered in our thoughts or daily processing of our experiences? And to share personally, this week I had an encounter physically within my body that is a memory from when I was a child. My mother had told me that I had a um, life-threatening experience with chickenpox when I was a child, and um, it was quite intense and kind of like nip and tuck here and there as it was um, the intensity of the disease was so bad that um, she thought that they were going to lose me for a time there. And so that set inside me something that just out of a bizarre set of circumstances over this past week. In my building business, I had to strip back, and I had mask on and different things like this, but I had to strip back a bunch of black mold and work with some heavy chemicals to get rid of the black mold and all this stuff, and that happened. And then I ran into some major stress this weekend when I found that a subcontractor that I was dealing with basically did something that may cost me $15,000 in this job, and a whole bunch of stress happened. Well, that day, I get hit with something out of the blue and as you know, the disease to be called shingles. And it was just on the left side. It was intensely painful in specific areas. And going back to that question that how do we become so self-centered and think that what, what God is doing to us or what God has done to us, and it's not about what something that God is doing to us. It is that we are encountering things of a spiritual nature and poised, ready to receive it is God, but we need to relinquish our holds on it to discover what is it that this is rising in, what is this to become, what is this in the nature of blessing to reveal God's glory within. And as I said, as I was processing through the many things that had to be dealt with relating to the stresses that came out on this financial issue for the business, and all the people that are reaching in prayer needs that have had an increased sensitivity in many things that they've been experiencing, I've had to weigh this and measure what, what's, what's God doing within this? Because I know God knew this was coming. I know God is with me because each time the areas of sensitivity get intensely painful, I can pray to God and they're not painful anymore. Um, they just, I've heard of people that it's like very debilitating and as I feel it rising, I've just been able to pray to God and relinquish it. Now, Today, Ina and I were in prayer for a number of different reasons, but I had reached out in prayer to somebody that I know that is very spiritually centered, very clear in the quantum entanglement of the body and the spiritual influences of the things that are going on and the medical attributes of it. And some counsel that she gave me, I went, oh my God, this is the answer to a prayer that Ina and I had been seeking for months for the sake of one of her furry little children, one of God's little children, this um, beautiful dog that she has that has had this incredible sore underneath her eye. And as we would pray over her, it was seeming to improve, but then it would intensify again. And then it would improve, and then it would intensify again. And in me seeking to gain answers about my situation, God brought forth the wisdom specifically that would bless this beautiful Kyrie, this beautiful little dog. And now we have an answer for her, but then also an answer that will bless me to reduce the intensity of when the, the sores come in that I can actually just rid myself of them in a very short period of time and then do the 
nerve-ending reconstruction that needs to occur from in my body because it was still carrying the cellular memory from when I was a child from chickenpox. So all this knowledge and wisdom, is it totally self-centered? No, God is continuing to bring blessing onto many things around this, whether it be the animals, the um, individuals that I encounter in the prayer process, the opportunity to deal with this person that has wronged myself and the client and to be able to deal with them without frustration, without anger, without hostility, without aggression, and to see how could God transform this setting in this situation. Or we could even look at grief. As I've encountered many people that have lost a loved one to a disease or a pet to a tragic accident, many times people's first reaction is, how could God do this to me? instead of looking with a poised recognition. Whoa, this situation's unfolding. I wonder what God is doing to meet my lost loved one or this beautiful pet. What is God doing beyond my sight to release the things of a spiritual nature naturally born within this situation? Is it possible to discover that God never took anything or anyone? God merely received them as we continue this process, spiritual ground, that once again God is poised and ready to receive into the fullness of his loving embrace. And then we go back to the simple statement within Ephesians that says, a time and a season for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. And there is a deeper answer to all that is unfolding beyond our sight and all that we witness upon this earth. God already has the completion, the answer to everything we encounter. And it can only be discovered if we engage in the nature of living prayer with God's presence. Not just dialoguing with one another, not sharing the nature of suffering we experience, but honestly to release any manner we have severed ourselves from God and allow for God's holy and blessed spirit to guide us step by step. And as I said, we are here really in the reality to process a spiritual journey to serve God as he restores the very things we encounter of a spiritual nature as we walk out our journey. And isn't it interesting that as we go through our lives, we see people that blame God for taking someone when God actually receives them from the spiritual ground, which was the actual cause to ending their earthly journey. Not God, but the spiritual process and God there to receive the spiritual ground from within them, embrace them in the fullness of love, and they hold no memory of pain, sickness, or suffering, or death. It's their return into the remembrance of that which is God. And as I mentioned, even the encounter that I've come upon with this shingles experience, which is already waning and falling away from my body, and it's only been... Now, this is the, well, it happened Saturday. Saturday night it showed up, and then Sunday, and now Monday. And the, the effects of the shingles are just falling away from influencing my body. It's like every once in a while I get a pulse of pain. And I hear that it's a process of pretty intense experience for many people. And it starts a medical chase to find the answer, to find the resolution, to find freedom from pain. But in my heart... I wasn't desiring to release pain. I was desiring to seek God. Then God moved me to release pain. So can we, within our situations, honestly embrace the fullness of God's presence within us? Release any way that we may have severed our contact from God. Any time that we may look at something and go, why is God doing this to me? Instead of recognizing that the spiritual process is revealing in front of me or within me 
God, I know you are here with me. Not that you are doing these things to me, but you are here to carry me through these things. And that's just what has been rising throughout this whole week. And as I mentioned early in the call, that there are many people that have been reaching with severely sensitive issues, increased awareness of sensitivity of situations around them. And it's just, it's magnified to many people. And, and they're seeing other people around them that it's magnifying within them. Their sensitivity response to situations has increased. And I would just ask people to remember, this is not something that God is doing to us. This is something of a spiritual nature that is unfolding and God is ready to receive us and all things we encounter of a spiritual nature. And now as we breathe as one, we trust, we receive. Yahweh's holy presence in each and every breath we are gifted. We are one within the holy sanctity that is God's presence. We are freed from all spiritual grounds that we may have witnessed upon this earth. We are refined in knowing the very life-giving breath that resides within us is God's holy presence. May we be honored in sanctifying that space and breathe deep. Exhale and release any place in your life where you have felt that God has done something unto you. And please remember that before we entered upon this earth, before we joined within the veil of humanity, we knew within God's presence and God knew us perfect. And within that time, we had absolute clarity for all things we would enter unto, not just for a human journey, but for the sake of God's presence to reach through us, to set things right within the order of principalities, the spiritual realm. And as we return to this thought that was given to us, a time and a season for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, we must remember that God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and knows the nature of our journey and all things we will encounter. And God is already the blessed result within these things. May we each be freed from any perception we hold of separation and open to the fullness of wisdom that which is God within us. And we breathe once again. And we close this time in praise and worship of our loving God, thanksgiving to Yeshua, and the holy and divine living breath of the Abwum that rides within us, the Spirit of God, to manifest His glory in all that we do. We breathe as one. Amen. Be blessed. Have an amazing and remarkable evening. And may God's grace govern you throughout your week to know His presence, Her holy wisdom, to guide you in every breath you receive. We at Grace Healing are here to receive you as you reach, and we look forward to serving you within God's love. Have a blessed and holy night, or a blessed and successful and prosperous day if you receive this recording in the morning. Take care and be blessed. <laughs>